Hi everyone, it's Samantha from the Josume Table and I wanted to continue giving you guys some more helpful um, college tips. Um, and I wanted to show you in my last video, I talked to you guys about putting lights on your wall and I wanted to show you what I have. So my name is Samantha, so I've got an S hanging and it's really pretty. It's still kind of light out, so it doesn't, you don't get the full effect, but you can get a gist of what it's like. Um, but today I wanted to finish up my tips. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was to get, uh, to make a board. So you can make a board like this one. And it's actually pretty big. But I don't know really how to show you guys. But yeah, it's a pretty big board. And what you do is you just take some like black ribbon. I don't know if you guys can see that. Some black ribbon and some of these little push pins can't really take it out but they're the really small push pins and you can find those at Walmart or really any store they they're really simple to find um, and you get the poster board you get the thick kind with the cushion on the inside so it's it's pretty thick about maybe not that thick maybe half a half an inch or so and you just do this diet this diamond pattern so you just put it crisscross and um, voila you can make your own board and um, it's really helpful. Your phone is not enough to give you to keep you um, on top of dates and deadlines. Uh, you know, a lot of times I would see a deadline and I'd just you know ignore the alert and I'd forget about it. This is a great way to put post-it notes and anything important, even papers um, and letters, on here so that you guys can um, be reminded. I kept it above my desk. I put it on the wall with a with a with an S hook. I used um, some thread and I used the S hook to um, put it on the wall and uh, it was very it was really nice to see it right there in front of me I never had to you know search for my planner or anything it was right there on the wall you can also put this on the back of your door in your dorm um, that'll also be really helpful when you're walking out you'd always see it and you could never forget you'd never have an excuse um, the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was to do something creative every year um, so what I did I made this my freshman year and it's just like a little painting with birds on it um, there you go now you can see it um, and every year I would do something creative and so by senior year I had four of these paintings um, that I had done and it was really sweet to see you know over the course of four years all the things I did um, and it's also a really nice reminder that time flies so keep to your goal and you'll be out of there in no time. Um, so that's one way you can decorate your room. Uh, it's really, it's a really nice, nice thing to, to have up on your wall and just to look at every now and then. Um, and another thing, um, another thing I had was this I think I did my sophomore year. Um, and uh, it's a peacock. And I had push pins on each of these feathers and what I would do is I'd hang my necklaces on them um, and it was really cute I had this also on my wall and um, people would always come to my all my friends would come to my room and see it and they'd tell me oh Samantha that's a great idea um, and yeah all my earring long earrings and necklaces would just hang from these uh, from these feathers um, and that's also another creative thing you can do um, especially if you have a lot of jewelry that you can't just put in a drawer um, that's also really helpful um, then I also wanted to tell you, don't forget a mirror, you guys. Um, that's <laughs> incredibly important. Guy or girl, um, we all need it. And um, getting the, you can always have the one, the small one you put on your desk for your makeup, or even getting one that you can just put on the back of your door um, would be really helpful. Um, nobody wants to look like they didn't get to see what they put on in the morning. <laughs> so... Um, definitely make sure you pack that. Um, I know school is about to start for some of you and for some of you you're, you're already in college and so for that I just have a few more things to say and one of them is what to keep they will give you an emergency card which has all of the important numbers on it. Um, it'll tell you like the campus police number, um, the nurse, like the medical number, all those kinds of things and you may want to just put that, you know, throw it in the corner somewhere, but don't do that. It's really important, and you'll find out how important it, how important it is uh, when you least expect it. 
So make sure you always keep that just in your wallet. You don't have to keep it anywhere conspicuous. Just keep it in your wallet. Um, so when you go out or anything like that, you always have that handy um, because that you, you never know. That will really save you. Um, another thing is to know just where your campus medical building is. That seems kind of obvious, but a lot of people think, oh yeah, it's just over there, you know, across the street in that one place. But really know where it is because you never know when you have to go there or you need to take your friend and you may not have that emergency card. Um, you need to know where and how far it is um, just just to be safe. Um, what else? Uh, make sure you keep your room comfortable. You're going to be there for a good year and so make sure that you have all of the things you need. Make sure, you know, if it's too hot, bring a fan in the winter, keep a keep an extra space heater um, so that you never have to worry about freezing or melting. <laughs> um, I had both, so um, some of the dorm rooms will have air conditioning, some of them won't. So especially in the summertime, that's also really difficult uh, when you don't have a, a little fan for your for yourself to, to keep you cool. Um, when you guys go out, you will go out probably this weekend or whenever you go, um, and just be careful and be responsible. Um, we all want to have fun, you know, we're all there, we're meeting new people, it's exciting, um, and you can get carried away really easily. Um, but remember, you're there for a reason, and uh, you're there to study, <laughs> and um, I'm not going to lecture you on, on what you're supposed to do, but... Um, Make sure that, you know, drinking for those older students. Um, make sure that, you know, you don't take it overboard because you're gonna miss all those memorable moments and um, it's no fun when you can't remember all the fun that you had and you're blacked out. So don't do it, be careful um, and, and keep it all in moderation. Um, and you won't have the cops behind you or anything. So just, just be careful. Um, and, uh, don't be nervous. Everyone is like you. Everyone is in the same boat. Uh, so everyone is also open to meeting new people. They're just nervous. But you be the one to uh, say hi and, and give a smile and um, you'll, you'll be amazed at how many great people there are uh, and how many people you meet um, and how uh, helpful they can be in the future. Um, so don't, be, don't worry about it. And if you make a mistake or something happens in your first week, um, just smile, laugh it off, and move on. Um, you're still learning, so don't don't take it too hard on yourself. Um, just embrace it. And uh, I think that's it for right now. I hope you guys have a really great week, our first week of classes, uh, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Um, comment and let me know how it goes. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them and let you guys uh, know my experiences. Um, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe, follow, like my Facebook page and my YouTube channel um, so I know that these are helping you guys, alright? Bye, I'll see you later.